How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about my experience using both Embrace scar strips versus the traditional silicone based scar strips. And today's video is basically me uh, explaining my one week, one week trial of using both of these and the pros and cons of both and whether or not I recommend one over the other and looking at the statistical medical uh, research data out there c comparing these two products. And I realized that there's not many YouTube videos out there talking about Embrace versus silicone scar strips. So that's why I wanted to make this video. This I usually make my content around surgery, around my top surgery that I got, but this is applicable to any type of surgeries anyone would have. So I'm actually categorizing this video as any type of scar care regime. So, let's look at the history and then I'm going to show you my results. And before um, any new people who are watching my video I was wondering what kind of surgery I got. I'm a transgender man so I had a double incision mastectomy which means they removed both of my tissue breasts on both breasts um, and then they reconstructed my chest to look more masculine essentially. So I have two really big scars on my chest, one on each side that I kind of want to minimize as much as possible. I know I'll have these scars kind of forever, but I do want them to look smaller. I want them to look thinner. So, and I'm also a medical student, so I have a really good background in dermatology and also just researching uh, peer-reviewed articles to talk about uh, healing properties. But most of the Embrace studies out there is sponsored by the company itself, so there is a conflict of interest. So I wanted to see for myself whether or not I found Embrace to be better. And before I get down to the pros and cons, I just want to show you my results straight up and talk about my results and then we can talk about the pros and cons. So right now I want to show you guys the difference between silicone strips that I used on this side because of that little ulcer I had somewhere around here versus one week of using Embrace on this side. And you'll immediately notice some some very very stark differences and this is just after one week of use so as you can see on the embrace side it's translucent so unlike silicone strips which is there's a brown pigment over it um with the strips embrace is very very translucent so you can see through it but um it stays on for 10 days and it's really comfortable but i've noticed when i f feel over it it's mostly flat. The hypertrophic scars that I have around here are still pretty raised, but they have greatly diminished. And you'll also notice that Embrace works beyond the barriers of the strip, right? So what it does is that this area does tension relief. So it pulls this skin down and this skin up. So the scar is more um, and close tighter. So it makes sense that it will um, its effects will extend beyond its barriers. So it pulls this side of the skin down too and this side in and you'll notice this is a very very thin flat scar. There's a little bit of a nub in here but that that's kind of like a cosmetic defect after the surgery but there's a very thin there's a thin flat scar right here compared to this side where I used silicone strips and you can see it's still a little raised. I don't know if you can see it from this side but it's raised. I can feel it. There's a bump here. It's still a marginally reduced from what it was in initially but there are there is still raises all throughout where I use silicone strips. This side very flat. Let me try to show it from this side over. over. You can see it's flat from here, it's actually a little raised. I don't know if the camera is capturing it, but it is a little raised on this side. So the results are kind of remarkable for me. So what I ended up doing is buying more strips that'll go, they're smaller, so it'll go up to here and then beyond here so this ulcer can heal on its own. So I know I want to sh I showed the results very quickly in this video and that's because most people want to see that and I don't want to keep people waiting and see the entire video, uh, wait until the en end of the video to see the results. So I wanted to make sure everybody saw the results but I want to also talk about the pros and cons of both Embrace and the silicone strips. Number one, Embrace is a newer method of scar treatment which means that there is not a lot of research on it. Silicone strips have been evidence backed for 
decades. I mean, this has been around before the 2000s. Doctors, plastic surgeons have been recommending it for years after surgery for people to heal their scars. So there is a lot, a lot of peer-reviewed data on the efficacy of silicone strips to prevent hypertrophic scarring and to prevent keloid star scars, which typically affect more, um, which typically affect people of color more often, but it does uh, affect Caucasians to an extent depending on how bad their scar is and also their genetic profile. So silicone strips has the most evidence-backed data, and, but Embrace is newer and it provides that tension relief I talked about in that video. When I put these two on, I can definitely tell a difference. For the silicone strips, there's a bit more flexibility in my skin movement when I move my hands around, but with the Embrace, it's tighter. It's tighter around that side and actually uh, i saw such a huge improvement in the embrace that i immediately ordered a size large and a size small to go around that little nip that blister i have in my scar so that it doesn't look like one side is healing faster than the other i don't it's more unsightly for me for one side to look different from the other than being a consistent looking scar throughout another really good thing about the silicone strips as you can see it's a huge long strip that you can cut to size you can um, you can make it more pliable and you can take it off during the shower and reapply it, wash it overnight, make it look, make it clean and everything. So the silicone strips are definitely more flexible. However, I do want to note for some reason, I just have a lot of trouble making these work for me. Um, and what I mean by that, when I take them off, sometimes a little bit gets bent, a little bit gets folded over and it's hard for me to straighten it back out again. For me, it gets messy sometimes, and it's just really hard to manage. I will say though, the silicone strips last longer than the Embrace. However, not that much longer. Each strip of Embrace lasts 10 days, ideally, especially if, a, if you have a scar in a lower motion area. Unfortunately, for my top surgery scar, because it's an area around my chest where there's a lot of movement, I use my, ch we use humans, not just me, humans use their chest muscles a lot when it comes to doing everyday activities. So when I was not using any type of like compression or any type of sleeve that was helping, I'm actually wearing a compression vest to hold the embrace in place. It doesn't have to be too tight, but in areas of high movement, these strips do come off much faster than the uh, um, marketed 10 days of attachment. Although I am noticing the more, as long as I use this compression vest and as long as I hold these high movement areas in place while I shower, it seems to be working and lasting as long as the recommended time. But that is something I do want to mention that showering can become a bit of a chore with these embrace strips, especially if you are applying it to a high movement area. Unlike the silicone strips, which you can literally take off before you shower and snap it back on after showering. Another thing is, like I mentioned before, the silicone strips you can cut to size. Embrace, you cannot cut to size. So this is an XL size strip and you can't cut it. There's no way for you to cut it. So if you end up getting the wrong size, you're going to have to either buy a smaller size or unlike me, or like me, I had originally decided to put these XL strips on both sides of the scar, but then I developed that little blister in that area and realized I couldn't use this anymore. So I had to order more. And another drawback of Embrace, it's almost five times more expensive than the silicone strips for the same amount of treatment. Um, depending on the brand of silicone tape you get, it could be three to five times. I got a more higher quality version, so it's about three times more expensive. But I will say that um, if you want to be more economical, if you want to save more money, the silicone strips are the way to go. The last thing I want to mention between these two strips, although I do think you're getting faster results with Embrace, which is a huge plus for me, someone who lives an active lifestyle, someone who wants to go back to the gym and no longer be on a compression vest, someone who just wants their scars to heal as fast as possible, Embrace will give you quick results, but I kind of doubt its ability to give better results than silicone tape. And that's because of the results I've seen in other people who have used silicone strips and, got, and have gotten extremely, extremely good results with them. Especially if you have pretty average skin that heals pretty quickly and you're taking and you don't have any vitamin deficiencies I don't see a benefit to using embrace It's just might take longer with the silicone strips to get the results that you want embrace will get your results faster So that is a plus However, 
I do really, really recommend Embrace Strips to anyone who's prone to hypertrophic or keloid scarring because this will keep that from happening. If you are, if you've had scars before in the past, if you've gotten a cut before in the past and you realize it's not healing well at all, I highly recommend Embrace. I think it's worth the money and I think, I think this is a really good product, honestly, but I am not going to say that the silicone strips is not good enough as well because silicone strips have been the standard for scar therapy and has been shown by multiple people on YouTube, on the internet, and also through research that it does work in diminishing the size of scars. With both of these products, silicone strips, you can use up to six months. The recommended time of Embrace is using it for about two months for new scars. And there has been studies that have shown that you should not use scar strips past the six month duration of their usage and then just apply Vaseline for the scar for the remainder of the year. So all in all, I really like Embrace. I don't think it's a gimmick. I think it's really well um, done and the application is pretty easy to do. You can just look up videos on how to apply them. They're on the internet and by Embrace the, the videos. By Embrace probably will do a better job if I were to show you how to apply them. I will make a video maybe in the future for people who have had top surgery to show how I apply the Embrace, but it's a pretty no-brainer way to use them and I and I really liked it. I'm actually kind of blown away about through how well it's been working, but not gonna sleep on the silicone strips. They're doing a great job as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video to people who may benefit from watching this and follow me on an, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to catch up on my daily life, ask me questions, DM me questions and I'll be free to answer them when I have the time. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one.